we are at the end of August 2024 right now. Right now, today, what's it? It's 29th? Yeah, today is, or is it the 30th? Anyway, we're close to the end of the month. 2024, we are coming up, or I'm coming up, on the three-year anniversary of my toe amputation. Which got, which gets me thinking, you know, I'm reflecting back on that time and that week in my life when I was in the hospital. I've already talked some about this. I talked about the anesthesiologist and how, how pretty and winsome she was and how it was nice to lay on the gurney and look up at her, but I'm, I'm, I'm moving on from that. I'm talking about the surgery itself right now. They, I'm telling you. It sounds like it would be a stressful thing to undergo an, an amputation surgery of that nature, but I'm telling you, it was not. When I think back on it, what I remember the most, besides the beauty of the anesthesiologist and my ad admiration and adoration of her, I remember the really great sleep I got. I don't know how, I think, I did ask the doctor, something like a 40 minute operation if I remember right, so it was, wasn't that long, but I'm telling you, I felt so relaxed when I came out of it. When the anesthesia wore off, I felt like I just had the most deep sleep I ever had in my life. I felt like I just had a great nine, 10 hours of sleep. I woke up, I was, you know, a little groggy at first. You're always groggy when you come out with anesthesia, but once that grogginess wore off, I was energized. I didn't want to lay in bed. I wanted to get up and walk, and I did. I didn't walk far. I mean, I wasn't walking around the hospital or anything. They weren't going to let me do that. You know, COVID was still a concern. They weren't going to let me roam around the hospital. This needs to go just a little more. But I woke up. I was invigorated. I felt very energetic. I did walk a little bit, you know. I, I went. There was a bathroom close by. I went to the bathroom. To, you know, there was a nurse who, you know, made sure I didn't fall, supported me, but I was fine. And you would think I would have been in pain. You know, you chop a toe off. You wake up without a toe. You think you might be in pain, but I didn't feel it. Thing. I'm telling you, you know why I didn't feel anything? Because I have nerve damage in my feet. The nerve damage, it doesn't hurt. It's, it's really hard to explain what, what foot nerve damage feels like. It just feels like dead weight, honestly. It's not, you know, complete. My whole foot isn't numb. But parts are up near the toe area. That's where the worst of my nerve damage is. It's from diabetes. I've talked about this in other toaster talks. So I felt good. That's what I'm getting at. Didn't hurt because of the nerve damage. The nurse asked me if I wanted any painkillers. I told her, no, I'm fine. She didn't believe me, but I said, no, really. I, she, she didn't know I had nerve damage, I don't think, because that doesn't show up on x-rays. Take an x-ray of a foot, you're not going to see that the nerves are damaged. That's some whole other thing, much beyond anything I actually needed for this hospital stay. So, you know, we didn't do that, but I told them, no, no painkillers. And they always ask you, or they ask me, I'm su I assume this is a standard question, what's your pain level? Wanting to know from zero to ten. I, I was honest. I told her it's zero. I don't feel anything. And she's like, really? Are you sure? And I, wanted, I wanted to make her feel better. So I said, well, okay, one. Anyway, three years, best sleep of my life, 40 minutes, anesthesia, subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, read my books.